do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos today's chapter is magnetism hello students today we will start new chapter of 11th standard that is magnetism in magnetism will be knowing about the properties of magnet and uh, and its characteristics and some few terms involving magnetism that is dipole moment magnetic induction and how to find the potential what is earth magnetism so we'll discuss all these things in this chapter so let us start with the chapter called magnetism Hello students, today we will start a new chapter called Magnetism. So first, we will have the introduction about this chapter, then we will proceed to see more uh, terms. Firstly, the magnetism is a property of uh, a substance, particular type of substance, which has uh, the ability to attract uh, iron. So a piece of iron. The property of any substance to attract a piece of iron is called magnetism. And what are the basic properties of uh, a magnet? And what which substance is a magnet? So in this introduction part, we will discuss one by one. So basically. Magnetism is a property This is magnetism The substance iron or this substance is sometimes called uh, their ferromagnetic substance that we will study in details in 12th standard. Some substances are falling in the category of ferromagnetism or ferromagnetic materials. Some materials are called paramagnetic, others are called diamagnetic. So all these materials are magnetic materials. But Iron, cobalt, nickel, these are the substances Iron, cobalt and nickel, these are the substances which are called ferromagnetic substances. They are All the substances uh, whether solid, liquid, gas we call uh, them as uh, magnetic substances but to the degree the extent to which they exhibit their magnetic properties they are categorized into diamagnetic, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic that we will study in the next uh, uh, standard but for the time being iron, copper, nickel, the magnet can attract any of the three substances and what is a magnet? Earlier then it is called lodestone. Lodestone or Fe3O4 magnetite ore of iron that is a natural occurring magnet. This is a natural magnet. It's a natural magnet that is known as uh, <coughs> magnetite. This is called as magnetite. Now, if you think of a magnet and I give it a, a form like uh, you can give it different form. Suppose I take a magnet uh, that is a bar magnet, then it, look like a, it looks like a bar like this. Then it has uh, two poles, north pole and south pole. And these poles are uh, fixtures poles. And if you 
break the magnet into so many pieces as small as possible if you need to take a very smallest of pieces then also that substance or that magnet will have both the poles that means the point i want to make is that if you have a bar magnet north pole south pole if you break into infinite number of parts even if the smallest of the part that will also have both the poles that is north pole and south pole that means you cannot separate south pole or north pole from a magnet that means isolated magnetic pole does not exist so this is the point to remember isolated doesn't exist you cannot have a separate north pole or separate south pole you cannot uh, bring uh, only north pole or you cannot bring only south pole if you bring a magnet it has to be both the poles together you will find both of them next is that uh, if uh, you suspend so magnet has uh, both the property directive property it has got directive property directional property the directional property of the magnet is that if you suspend a free a magnet bar magnet freely it always points in the north south direction so it has got directive property or directional property of the magnet always points in the north south direction so this is the directive property another is the attractive property this is the directional property the attractive property is that if you bring uh, different poles or like poles they will attract and like poles they repel north pole north pole south pole south pole repulsion so like poles will uh, repel and uh, the all like poles will attract these are very common things so if you bring both the north pole together or two bar magnets they will uh, try to repel or move away from each other but if this is north pole i bring a south pole it will stick to it but you cannot uh, uh, stick up both the north pole and north pole together okay because of repulsions so this is the property of uh, a <coughs> magnet and it has a magnetic field magnet has a magnetic field around it and will have lines of forces because the field is represented by the lines of forces and that is not seen imaginary lines uh, that will discuss afterwards and uh, will uh, also know if a magnet has a magnetic field then uh, what other properties that uh, field will have the field will have uh, in intensity property or uh, that is called magnetic uh, induction every magnet here will have induction every magnet will have a potential so every field has a uh, intensity or its potential that will also find because we have already uh, studied that uh, in case of uh, a substance which is mass a mass has gravitational field around it a charge if you take a charge the point charge it has a electric field around it similarly if you take a magnet there's called magnetic field around it so the charge gives rise to the electric field the mass gives rise to the mm, gravitational field similarly a magnet gives rise to a magnetic field so these are the properties we'll be discussing okay in the next video thank you